Well, when you actually quote me, those are my words, and I stand by them. So somebody else quoting me, putting words in my mouth, I have a problem with. But those words I stand by. You want to know why? Because we literally know the FBI, the 9-11 Commission, the U.S. government on down told us specifically that Saudi Arabia had no involvement. 20-plus years later, quietly declassifying documents, showing that not only did Saudi Arabia have involvement, it was a Saudi intelligence agent that received two of those terrorists that cl- crashed planes on 9-11, killing but Americans on American soil. the question was, is 9-11 an inside job, and, and you didn't say about. no? Caitlin, That's you what just I think people pl- are Caitlin, looking you liter- at. Caitlin, you, you know what's really funny? You literally just played that, and you could play it for your audience again. He said, or do you believe everything the government has told us? And my answer was, I do not believe everything the government has told us but you see because the they point. lied. The point is and that I know this game comes open. up, Caitlin, it, every time there's game. an outsider who comes in. Open, <laughs> it leaves the door open, It leaves the door open, and someone who's Caitlin, a 9 11 truther looks have a at government that and says, that that's exactly lies. what I believe. You that think the government's a, lying about 9 11? I think the government has systematically and for a very long time lied about 9 11. And I think I'm the only presidential candidate who's told us the truth. Allow me to be the first person ever to say that I don't understand what the obsession is with Caitlin Collins. I don't get it. I don't understand it. She's not a good interviewer. She bombs so hard in the Donald Trump interview that people got fired. The, The CEO of the network got fired. And somehow she ends up with her own show. It doesn't make any sense. The only thing she has remotely going for her is, and this might work in some circles, a a striking resemblance to Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, Other than that, I don't understand anything about her appeal. Her interviews aren't good. She's not smart. She's not even nice. Listen to this interview with Vivek Ramaswamy. He's running for president, not my cup of tea. Uh, I, of course, uh, am a DeSantis supporter. But... You still shouldn't treat anybody like this. Listen to the questions. Listen how they're asked. Listen to how he responds. And she just ignores every single thing he says. This is a long one, but it needs to be heard. A report in The Atlantic that you gave an interview to, you said, quote, I think it is legitimate to say how many police, how many federal agents were on the planes that hit the Twin Towers. Maybe the answer is zero. It probably is zero for all I know, right? I have no reason to think it was anything other than zero, but if we're doing a comprehensive assessment of what happened on 9-11, we have a 9-11 commission, absolutely there should be an answer the public knows the answer to. Explain to me what you meant there. This is really, it's funny. I mean, the Atlantic is playing the same game as CNN. It's funny. What I said is on January 6th, I do believe that there were many federal agents in the field and we deserve to know who they are. On 9-11, what I've said is that the government lied. And this Okay, and what part of that's untrue? None of it. None of it. And even in the thing, in the quote she puts up on the screen, you see there were zero agents on the plane. We should know the truth about what went on. There's some questions about whether the 9-11 Commission told the whole story. We have a conversation all the time about Saudi Arabia and what impact they had on that event. Were there people involved? We talk about that all the time. In fact, CNN went after Live Golf For that exact reason. And basically saying that the federal government didn't tell us the truth. And now we learn that there is some sort of Saudi connection to this. That's what he's saying here. And he's asking what government agents from the United States knew about this. And he's saying there were zero on the planes as far as we know. We're not suggesting that's the case. But the government did lie about that. Makes it clear to her. She does not care. What she is asking for is the resuscitation of a line so she can say, I made him say this. He's not willing to give her that. Maybe he should have, but this is going to be a long one. This is incontrovertible evidence, Caitlin. The government lied about Saudi Arabia's involvement. There was a Saudi spy named Al-Bayoumi who they lied and the government lied and the 9-11 Commission lied. We know that because declassified reports in 2021 revealed that Al-Bayoumi was indeed. By the way, what's that about? Oh, yeah, President Biden did that. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Why are you just you're sticking up for Joe Biden for some weird reason here? He wasn't trashing Biden, but just instinctively, he feels like he needs to come to Biden's defense. What's that? Yeah, the report that the President Biden declassified. Yes. But your quote here, are you telling me that the quote 20 is wrong years later, here? Yeah. But are you telling me that I'm your quote, you quote is wrong, wrong here actually. because it says how many federal agents were on I, the plane? I actually asked. The Twin Towers. <laughs> 
Yeah, when, when, I, when I actually, and this is just lifting the curtain on how media works again, I asked that reporter to send the recording because it was on the record. He refused to do it. But we had a free-flowing conversation. The truth is there are lies the government has told about 9-11, but it's not the ones that somebody put in my mouth. It's the one that I articulated, which is that Saudi Arabia, absolutely, their intelligence was involved in 9-11. And that's a difficult thing you're not supposed to say. The facts back that up. Separately, as it relates to January 6th, same story all over again. There were federal agents in the field. I think they've lied about how many there were. And we, the people, deserve the truth, okay, despite the layers of distortion you, that exist in the media to prevent us from getting it. Now, she's going to go into this whole thing, but she didn't even acknowledge forcefully enough. You want to talk about things that should be said. That he says, I didn't do that. I asked for the tape. I'm telling you right now, I didn't say those things. And she's still giving weight to it. That's bad. You're saying that you were misquoted here. So we will take your word. Yes. You're saying you're, that you were misquoted. Yeah, we'll take your word for it, even though I pretended like I didn't take your word for it the first time. Sure, sure, sure. Quoted here, but yeah. you were asked another time recently about whether or not 9-11 was an inside job. This is what your response was. 9-11, inside job or uh, exactly how the government tells us? I don't believe the government has told us the truth. Again, I'm driven by evidence and data. What I've seen in the last several years is we have to be skeptical of what the government does tell us. I haven't seen evidence to the contrary, but do I believe everything the government told us about it? Absolutely not. Okay, so that answer is, I don't believe what the government's telling us. He didn't say, I believe it's an inside job. The question was asked, A or B, he gave a C answer. So if you want to jump on him about that, that's fine. But are you pretending that his response was it was an inside job by the government? Because that's not what it was. And you're going to find out that's exactly what Dylan Mulvaney does. I asked two questions. The 9-11 commission, absolutely not. I mean, Vic, I think people look at those comments. They look at what you said in the Atlantic, which you say you're misquoted. They look at comments that you've made about the Federal Reserve adding zeros to media companies' bank accounts. And, I mean, it looks like you're floating conspiracy theories with this defense of I'm just asking questions. Amazing. Th this is a woman who is just asking questions about things she knows nothing about. A and she's attacking a guy who never once said, oh, I'm just asking questions about this. He's laying out why he doesn't trust uh, the federal government. Now, ask him about the thing about adding zeros to the accounts uh, of media companies. To have that conversation about what that's about. What do you want to do with that? You're suggesting he's a 9-11 truther. And, and this idea that anyone that doesn't say the lines you want, you then get to frame how you want them, is garbage. As is Caitlin Collins as a, an interviewer. Well, when you actually quote me, those are my words, and I stand by them. So somebody else quoting me, putting words in my mouth, I have a problem with. But those words I stand by. You want to know why? Because we literally know the FBI, the 9-11 Commission, the U.S. government on down told us specifically that Saudi Arabia had no involvement. 20-plus years later, quietly declassifying documents, showing that not only did Saudi Arabia have involvement, it was a Saudi intelligence agent that received two of those terrorists that crashed planes on 9-11, killing but the Americans the question was, is 9-11 an soil. inside job? And, and you didn't say no. So, it, because he did not say no to the question. Instead, he answered the question in a different way that meant no. She thinks she's got him. Look at her face. Not for too long, but look at her face. She thinks this is an, a, a gotcha moment for her. She thinks this is something that's going to go viral. And it did. Not for her, but for him. Caitlin, you I just played. Caitlin, you literally. Caitlin, you, you know what's really funny? You literally just played that, and you could play it for your audience again. He said, "Or do you believe everything the government has told us?" And my answer was, "I do not believe everything the government has told us." But you see, because the they point, lied. The point is and that I know it this game the comes open. up, Caitlin, it, every time there's game. an outsider who comes in. It leaves the door open, Vivek. <laughs> it leaves the door open, and someone who's Caitlin, a 9/11 truther. We, why do they care about someone who's a 9/11 truther? Might think that he is. He just told you he's not. He made that very clear. And you're just pretending that he might be because he didn't say to you, I'm not a lot of 9-11 truth. And he'll say that eventually. But she just wants to get him to say certain lines so she can then claim that she got him. And it's just absurd because this isn't an, an honest interview. What, is this, uh, what does this prove? She knows he's not a 9-11 truther, but she doesn't care. She's confronting him about how he might leave the door open for 9-11 truthers to believe they have common cause with him.
It's just dishonesty. The dude is just dishonest. We have a government that that's systematically lies. That's exactly lies. what I believe. You that think the government's a, lying about nine eleven? I think the government has systematically and for a very long time lied about 9-11. And I think I'm the what only presidential exactly candidate who has told us the about? truth. Saudi Arabia's involvement. It is absolutely true but you don't that Saudi think that Arabia was, an was involved job, correct? in 9-11. Of course not. <laughs> she literally does not care what he's saying. She just, she's trying to get him to say what she wants him to say, not do an interview. She went into this interview saying, I'm going to get him to say that 9-11 wasn't an inside job. And she thinks she did that. She thinks she's accomplishing something here. Besides embarrassing herself. And I've never said it. <laughs> but, but the but media filters do create answer. a lot of It's not a media filter. You have to stop blaming the media. We're, I'm asking you about comments that you have made. And I'm telling you that the comments I made, the ones you just played, are indeed what I believe, which was not that 9-11 was an inside job, but that Saudi Arabia absolutely was involved and our government for 20 years lied to the American people about there it. There was an entire 9-11 commission fact, report actually. on this. Yes, and it, will, and it lied, and it was false. And in fact, you know where that's coming out, Caitlin? There's now a case, a federal case in the Southern District of New York, where the government of Saudi Arabia is being sued by victims of families. Know, that's families, why this is yes. resurfacing its... Yeah, we all know you know that. Why are you pretending that you don't? We, we know that CNN has gone crazy on this. And has decided that, that they are going to take the side, rightly, uh, of the 9-11 uh, family survivors. Or excuse me, the 9-11 casualty uh, survivors. So why are you pretending now that you don't know this? Why is it taking four minutes for you to say, oh, yeah, yeah, we know that. There was an entire report about this, implying that he's wrong. But he's actually right, and you know it, and you finally had to admit it. Who's doing the interview here? Vivek Ramaswamy or Caitlin Mulvaney? It is relevant, and it turns out in those declassified documents But there's a difference in, in asking questions about Saudi Arabia's involvement and the government's involvement and then pushing this idea that whenever what your comment about who was on the plane and then was 9-11 an inside job where you did not say no earlier. That's why it's important to clarify those comments. This is not a clarification of anything. It, it is a real builder for Caitlin Collins. That's all it is. And it looks bad. It looks really bad for her. And it goes to show you what a terrible interviewer she is. Oh, you should have said it sooner. You should have said no sooner. He never said 9-11 was an inside job. He disputed the quotes that you brought to him in the very beginning. And you're still bringing them up as if they're real. Because otherwise it feels like you're towing at the line when it comes to conspiracy theories. Caitlin, I, it is, I, I, I am guilty as charged that I do not follow the establishment super PAC donor approved script on these questions, but I am speaking truth grounded in fact at every step of the way. And that's what's really elicited something of an anaphylactic reaction of the kind we saw in 2016 against a different candidate. But this time I'm gonna be grounded in principles and conviction not just vengeance and grievance, well, which is you exactly you're grounded how we will in evidence. That's just country. simply what we were asking for. See, she knows she's busted. She knows she looks bad. Uh, so now she's trying to kind of retcon the interview into something of a fact-finding mission. It's not. And look how bad she looks here. I think it's just absolutely but terrible. Rasami will to, Ramasami will yes. leave it there. Thanks so much for your time tonight. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's the face of a guy who knows he got her. I mean, that's exactly what that is. And it's absolutely amazing to see. It is amazing uh, to see that he knows it, she knows it, and they all know it. Just absolutely brilliant and beautiful stuff here. I, I, I'm a fan of Ramaswamy uh, when he does stuff like this. I, I think that's great. Uh, I think it should be done. And I think we need to see more of that from other candidates. Get out there and fight the good fight. That's exactly what he should be doing. A good job by Ramaswamy here. Caitlin Collins, par for the course. You're terrible at your job.